While on indigenous land, we are transported through the Indian canyons into one of my most favorite terrains of the last couple years, the desert. It's raw, consistent, and unapologetic beauty sucks me in every single time. As I walked, guided by the eagerly informed Kate Anderson, I was shocked when we hit a bed of water. Quite literally, for the first time in my life, I'm in an oasis. It's so cool. While also surrounded by California fan palm trees. So if you're visiting Palm Springs, one of the most important things to know is that this is the ancestral home of the Agua Caliente people, mm. and they are the original people of this area. The Agua Caliente Hot Spring is a natural hot spring that bubbles up in downtown Palm Springs. The water that comes up today is carbon dated at more than 12,000 years. What does that mean? Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> the incredible ancient hot springs. Yeah. That is the site of the very, very first tourist attraction mm. of Palm Springs. Really? So in the late 1800s, mm -hmm. the tribe began sharing that hot mineral water with, okay. with travelers. Women would be using this space to grind food or medicine. You can see all of this incredible history here. I don't know why, but there is kind of this mystery yeah. when people realize that Native Americans still are alive today. Yeah. They're like, wait, we, we learned in school that that right. was like a it's long time ago. It's not the textbook folklore. <laughs> like, no, this is a part of the culture around the country, all over the place. And I'm privileged to be able to travel to these places and have conversations with the likes of people like you to be able to hopefully continue to educate and amplify the stories of, you know, the tribes as well. Bella de Ball is probably one of the most vibrant and also tallest personalities in all of Palm Springs. Thank you so much. Well, welcome everybody. It's Monday Night Bingo. I am your big hair, big mouth, long leg, short skirt, MC and hostess, Bella the Ball! Known as the social ambassador of Palm Springs, King's Highway Diner is one of her homes. What do you think built out Palm Springs as the epicenter for LGBTQIA+. I think it's a combination of the old Hollywood. Yeah. It's a combination of the modernism and the lifestyle yeah. and the artsy and the pizzazz and the color yeah. and the fabulousness and just the camaraderie. All these groups that just bring everybody in and yeah. make you feel like, hey, we're here for help. Yeah. We're here to have a good time. What do you want to do? OK, so weird fact about me. I have always believed that colors have feelings. Super Bloom takes that theology to a whole other level. So whether you're feeling bold or aqua turquoise, like my middle name, or forest green, knowing that you need to be offline for a little bit, Super Bloom has got something for every iteration. Honestly, Palm Springs came to us in a dream. What does the creative community look like here in Palm Springs today? Every single facet of the arts and culture and anyone who is really living life. And I think there's a, an undercurrent of vitality here. When the stars would leave Hollywood and get away for like a weekend, they could come here and just relax, let themselves go. They had to be within two hours of their studio for reason. Right. So Palm Springs was just at the farthest end, away from the noise and just where they can kind of uh, get away from everything and just kind of be themselves. They could come out here, they could hide behind the walls, the bushes, yeah. they could let go and just, maybe some of them dressed in drag, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Nestled in the back of Mojave, you're gonna find Palm Springs Bottle Shop, otherwise known as PSBS. What pays our bills here? <laughs> These cherry earrings. 90% of our products are produced, made by BIPOC, LGBTQ+, women, people who are doing some social good. We have it all. I love so this. So we did a little key code to let you know what you're supporting when you shop. So the green one for BIPOC yeah. owned, Yellow for woman owned, light pink is LGBTQ plus owned, dark pink is disability or someone doing social good. I've owned. never seen anything like that anywhere in the world that I've been. Well, this is dope. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm a fan. Thank so, you. Everybody, when you come to Palm Springs, you have to stop by PSBS. It's a good time. Off to my pickle juice. Hey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Off to my wine. <laughs> <laughs>